Hey guys, uh, I've not done a walk to work in a little while. Um, sorry about how loud all the birds are being. Seems that today is the day that all the birds out here decide to be as loud as possible. And the seagulls be loud and probably try and attack me. <laughs> um, but I've not done a walk to work in a, maybe about a week or something. I always feel like if I'm not doing like sort of normal videos or things like that, I'm not really uploading that much. Um, but I've always been very inconsistent with uploads, it's either like five or six a week or like one every two weeks. Um, I just try and keep some things to record every so often so I'm not just dumping everything in like one day. Um, but I do try and record when I can. Uh, I'm trying to sort out with Collectocore because I'm trying to contemplate whether paying for the second box that they tried to charge me for or not paying for it but I don't know if when it rolls around for the next box when they announce that I'll then be charged for the Civil War box because they've already tried paying uh, they've already tried taking money for it I think I might get it um, because I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's going to be sort of like a a multi box um, where they have more than one pop in it, like variety of pops. So say it could be like a one in three chance, or there's a chance of getting either like imagine an Iron Man or a Captain America one, given it's Civil War, um, which it would make sense if they did say one in, like a chance of getting one one or another pop. So if I get two, then I get both. Or a chance of getting both, or it'd be a variety of shirts. I'm thinking they'll do a variety of shirts as well. Um, so I'm thinking I might buy both. If not, then I might get charged the next time. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still really want Legion of Collectors to come to the UK. Well, come international. I don't know why they're not. It's a pain. I want them. <laughs> I want the, the DC TV box the most. Um, cause I'm kind of hoping they'll do, like, because I really want to look at what's inside the DC TV box, like the pops, because I don't know if they're going to do a variety as well, or it's going to be, you get one, like one or two pops. Given it's DC TV, it's going to be Arrow, Flash and Supergirl. Um, so I think they could do a variety, but I hope they're, um, sort of action posed ones. So say Supergirl flying, the Flash running, and Arrow draw drawing his bow, because they'll be really cool action posed ones. Um, <laughs> and it's not like it's outrageously far from what they've done already. Like if they've already done Superman flying, all they have to do is repaint it with Supergirl um, and remould it with Supergirl. Flash running won't be too difficult. Um, and then Arrow drawing his bow. I think they'll be pretty... Uh, they'll look really nice pops if they do them right. Um, but obviously I don't know if that's what they're doing. Um, yeah, so I really, really want them. I've also uh, looked up for Hot Topic because I want to get some stuff in Hot Topic. Um, but it's really expensive to get it shipped. Well, I say really expensive to get it shipped over. Um, they halved the international shipping before it was $38 and now they've reduced it to $19 which is a lot cheaper um, and they obviously have their Hot Topic exclusive pop vinyls there which are $10 each so they're about £5-£6 per pop then about £11 for shipping so as I do I'll wait up and get two, two pops for about like twenty nine dollars, like twenty nine pounds, or wait and try and get them in the UK, but without their stickers and with Entertainment Earth stickers. Hmm. Because I want there's a, a Goody Tama pop that I want to get. Goody Tama with Bacon Shawl, which is a Hot Topic pre-release. But I've not seen it any like obviously it's a pre-release. It's going to be in Hot Topic first and then everywhere else after. But it's been a pre-release for like six months. 
and it's ne they're never usually that long. Like the, the Arkham Asylum Joker was a pre-release, and he was only a pre-release for about two weeks. Um, same with a few other pops, they were pre-releases, and they're only pre-releases for like two or three weeks, not like six months with a bacon shawl. Um, so it's like, do I buy that and hope, or just wait and see if it comes into the UK? Um, I don't know. Um, I know Hadjinks and I are going to the Captain America Civil War premiere, um, at midnight premiere in the UK. We all we, we try and go to all the different premieres um, for films like that we really want to go to. So we're going to go to that on the it's the 29th of April at midnight. So hopefully, if it's like Batman vs Superman, it's going to be empty again because <laughs> that one was completely empty. Well, it's completely empty for a while. There's maybe like five other people that came in with Batman vs Superman, which was fine. It was great. A little bit annoying because there's two people who sat right behind us and the cinema can hold like a hundred people. So everyone else just spread out fine. But then it was like two girls just decided to sit right behind us for whatever reason. Um, they must have not seen us because if, if you've seen the Batman vs Superman video I put up, you'd be running around, especially hijinks, running around. So they must have maybe not seen that we actually sat there. Um, which is. Oh, it was fine. Um, so that's going to be fun. So we're hopefully going to see that in 3D. Um, then this free comic book day, which is going to be so fun. Um, that's on the 7th of May. And hopefully we'll be live streaming the day. Not through YouTube. I'm going to be using the live stream app. Um, which is which my live stream is Riddles and Hijinks. So the same as my YouTube. Um... And we'll be, I'll be live streaming the whole day for um, free comic book day. So we'll be obviously going in, getting free comic books, and then we're going to be doing a pop vinyl haul after. I mean, Hydrant's been planning a pop vinyl, like our huge pop vinyl shop for months. But we've never found a day to do it. Um, so we are planned it'll be on free comic book day, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so we'll when we go up, it'll be... We get uh, well, so all our free comic books, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Geeky Boo, the store that we, we really like going to, usually give out all, like not just the f standard free comic books from Free Comic Book Day, but a bunch of other free comics that either I've not sold or from other people that people have donated in to the store over the year, and they just give them away. I sent huge big boxes of free comic books, and you can just take them in as you want into a bag. What they say is basically, if you can fill the bag, then you can have it. Um, there's one person last year who broke the bag and had to get another bag. Um, and they got told, just maybe put a couple back if you broke the bag. Um, so, that'll be fun. Because I know last year they had, obviously they did for Comic Book Day. They also did 10% off of pot vinyls last year. But I didn't actually have any money on me last year to pick up pot vinyls. I think maybe picked up one. Which was, I think, maybe Cyclops, but um, I, but this time last year, I only had a few pop vinyls. Um, I maybe only had, well, I say a few pop vinyls, I maybe mean, had two dozen compared to now. Um, so, what me and Hijinx are doing is we're going to write a list, because otherwise we'll just go mad and just buy tons that we either don't need, we'll end up buying maybe a double of one, or start buying ones that we'll be like, oh, like 10 minutes later, oh, I didn't really want that. So we're going to write a little list out for each of us. We're not going to write one together. So I'll write a list of ones I really want to try and get. She'll write a list of ones she wants to really try and get. And then work through them. And so I'm going to try and put down, like, for Age of Ultron Pops. So I want to try and finish them. And get the last of the Civil War ones. So I've only got three to get. Uh, pick up some more Star Wars ones. Um, that I really want. And check Disney Store. If they have any. Okay, sorry, no, just. I thought it was like a kid singing. I think it's a bird. Okay then. Yeah, I think it's a bird. Okay then. <laughs> um, 
Wait, uh, we'll uh, go to the Disney store. Sorry, I threw my bag. <laughs> um, go to the Disney store and pick up. See if we've got any different pops in. Obviously, that's why we'll get the Star Wars ones because they're doing cheap. Um, I'll also go and check because at the back of the store they have their standard Disney pops, the new Disney pops, and then they have Spider Man ones for whatever reason. Um, I might pick myself up because I've got the glow in the dark black suit Spider Man. I might pick up the standard black suit Spider Man as well, so I have one of each. Um, and see if they've got any of the other set because with the rest of the set they have Green Goblin, Iron Spider, and Taskmaster. But I already have Green Goblin. All in just Taskmaster and Iron, Go um, Iron Spider, which I really want. So I want to try and find them because they're not they're, they are Walgreens exclusives, so they're not going to be they're not going to be easy to find. Um, so that's going to be fun to find them. That's my biggest task. That and people have reportedly been saying that Disney Store have been stocking Chase Pops. Um, we're also going to check probably Waterstones, which is a bookstore. Probably checking there because last year they did do a little thing for free comic book day. I think it was you can pick up like one free comic or one comic at like 25% off or something. So maybe not entirely free, but they did a lot of something. But it's been reported that like quite a few people online said Waterstone sell pops. Um, HMV do as well, which is a music store. Um, so we'll probably have a look in there because Hijinx might want to pick up a, a vinyl record. So we'll probably look in there as well. Um, they're quite expensive, but they might still have some of the exclusives there. So HMV have had a couple of exclusives in the past. Um, it was like a few pack of Supernatural Pops they had that were HMV exclusive. Um, and then they had, I think, three pack of Disney ones, which HMV exclusive. So I want to get the Supernatural ones if they have them in still. But that, I think that was maybe a couple of years ago, but they might still have them in. Um, I hope they do. Maybe even just one pack. If not, then they don't. If they do, that'd be cool. Um, Every so often they have decent deals on. Um, I know one person who said that they got a, one of the oversized Batman pops from HMV for £20. Pounds. Uh, this is maybe two, like a year ago. They said that they got a... It was just a by luck because it had sort of like this big pop vinyl shelf um, where they sort of threw them all on. They said it was a small HMV they went to. Um, not like in Glasgow or like the cities, it's like a smaller one. Um, and they said it was like a pop vinyl was just sort of thrown on a shelf um, and they lo had to look through them all like, and they found this oversized Batman for £20 discounted from like say £90 to £20 so they, they bought it uh, and they're now worth like £200 uh, so if, they, if I can find an oversized I'll be absolutely ecstatic um, the one I'm really, really trying to look for is a... Uh, I'm trying to think, well, I would want a red one, but that's going to be impossible to find. Um, for me, it's just going to be hard to find or rares for a cheap price. Uh, like the Go in the Dark Back to Spider-Man. There's the store still tons. They have tons of them for, an eight, for $9.95. Um, which is really cheap. Um, I know another YouTuber that I talked to, uh, Collector and Boxer, he was on one of the live streams I did before. And there was a few pops he saw that he really wanted. So he'll probably point them out as well on the stream. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the stream. I'll also give you plenty of notes before it. But I'll leave this video here and see you next time.